Hi everyone, so today's video is going to be a Gloss Box video and this is for November. This month it seems like it's um, the Glossy Wish List I think theme. Um, this is what you get as a, a magazine. It's glossy again, it's got pages on the side which I haven't actually looked into but I think it just gives you wish lists of what they think is the best pre presents for Christmas. Um, the best festive reds and dark plum colours for lipsticks. Um, they tell you what a Christmas box looks like, and that is what is going to be the Christmas box. So yes, that's a just a quick read, but that's a, something new they've done um, a couple of months ago. So yes, it comes in a normal pink box again, nothing special. Normal insides the pink ribbon, the black paper um, and when I opened it my box was all black because um, they had they put an eyeshadow in there um, and it looks like mine just exploded everywhere so it made everything black and horrible and literally had to wipe everything down so that's a bad thing as you can see probably on my finger I've got black on me so <laughs> yeah I'm trying not to get messy um, so yes, um, the card information, the first thing I see is all black everywhere, as you can probably tell, mine's all messy, so I've got a tissue here, because I've got a nice white jumper on, which is probably not the best idea in the world, but hey. So the first thing is Vinci Idealia Life Serum, um, I absolutely love the bag that it comes in, it comes in a nice little bag like this. Obviously I'll pop open bag, you go like that and then you can close the back up again. Which I really do like. I like I love these bags. And there's three samples in here. There are two um life serums, which is a skin idealnesia serum, and there's a smoothing and illuminating cream. There are uh, three ml each, so you get nine mils of product in total. Um it's a unique product that can that helps transform the appearance of skin's quality, help protect your skin from the visible effects of stress, pollution, smoke or an unbalanced diet, or around skin saviour. So that sounds like a good thing to use um, because I'm looking for other products to use and make my skin look better so this looks like a brilliant one. Um, for 30 mils it's 29.50 which is quite expensive but I think Vinci are quite a high end brand anyway so yes I am excited to try this because I've never tried anything from this range before and I know a lot of people have actually raved about it and say they're a really good company so I'm glad that I got these to try and I love the packaging brilliant next thing is the eyeshadow that broke everywhere and that made, that's made everything messy and I'll put this up here out of the box and it looks like this. I'm obviously not going to open it because it's rather crushed. I don't know if it is actually meant to be a um, pan sort of um, eyeshadow or a pigment, but mine's just crushed. And it's in dams, and it looks like a either grey, dark grey, or a black. Um, so yes, I'm not really a big fan of black or dark greys as like an everyday eyeshadow so this is not a really good one for me it's from Emit Makeup which I think we've had something in the boss, um, glossy boxes before um, it's a completely free from oil, nickel, parabens and perfume the pigment, is, probably is just a pigment then is um, ideal for lens wearers or those with sensitive eyes which I have got um, lenses in right now so it's brilliant for me it's just the colour and obviously it wasn't really pack packaged very well because it looks like it just got chucked in and it's made a mess all over my box so that's why I probably look quite black and why I've got a tissue so that cost £16.80 for 1.48 mils and I can't see what this one is but I'm not even bothered about this to be honest because it's just broken and 
is black not what I really want so that can go over there again um, the next thing is a hand cream which I'm quite excited about this one because it looks so nice in the packaging and it's the Yves Rocher um, Collection Caco Cacao it's a orange and a bit chocolate um, I'm not sure but it looks like chocolate and orange hand cream which looks lovely anything with chocolate or orange scented that's so nice um, I love packaging it's so sweet um, this is 75 mils and um, it's £1.95 for 75 mils I've just dropped it um, yeah that's that one and it's not very expensive whatsoever £1.95 that's a lot less than a Vaseline one or Soap and Glory so eh, I wouldn't say that was a um, what do you call it I suppose it's not a um, big enough brand for the Lossy Box but obviously it is um, next one is Elegant Touch Nail Polish Remover Pads which is good because I can try them out but not so good in a glossy box since it only costs £2 so that's not a big brand again it's a very small brand and they're very cheap and I thought glossy box was meant to be a um, more high expensive range but obviously not so I'm happy to try this because um, I haven't used any pads before, I just used a cotton ball um, sort of idea and used, um, what do you call it, remover liquid instead of just pads. So, happy to try this, but I wouldn't say this should be in a glossy box whatsoever. And the last thing is a complete waste of time for me, and it's a lipstick by Gosh, which I love Gosh. You know, I, I, I really like Gosh, especially the Velvet Touch Primer, but this is just ridiculous. Is an orange lipstick. Why would anybody wear an orange lipstick in the winter? Seriously, um, it should be a summer one, not a winter one. I would not class an orange lipstick for winter. I just wouldn't wear orange anyway because I don't like orange on a lips. I think it just looks so weird, and I'm more of a natural pinky sort of girl rather than orange so this is a complete waste of time never going to use it in my whole life so that's a bit of rubbish and of all the colours they could think of for winter orange that's for me that I would class that as summer instead of winter it's usually dark colours but this, this is not a dark colour so a bit confused there why they've put that in there but hey what can you do? It's £6.49 for 4 grams, and I suppose this is the actual size. So, yes, that is the glossy box for November. Um, there are products that I'd like to try, but two of them. Um, three, I think. Oh, I can't even remember. Yeah, about three of them I would like to try, but the other two can just go. Especially the black. Um, pigment and orange lips they're completely weird how they've done that and it's not really making sense to me so yes um, good and bad in this box as always but yes I hope you like it um, please leave a comment saying what you have got in your glossy box this month I would love to know if this eyeshadow is actually a pigment or it's meant to be a pan eyeshadow so yes Please comment, rate and subscribe and see you guys soon.